Welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to check out to actually have the advanced boot options in Windows. The advanced boot options, you know, if you remember you were in Windows 7, XP or so on, you could press F8 on your computer when it booted and it would bring you to this, you know, special advanced startup menu where you can actually have all sorts of fixes. Now, you can go there by pressing a certain number of keys depending on the computer you use. Some still work on F8, some need um, Shift F8 or Windows F8, uh, but there's also other options. If your computer crashes at boot, it will actually bring you there automatically. But I'm going to show you if you can go to Windows 10, but you'd like to have the advanced boot option so you can, for example, do a system restore that you can do right here or you can, uh, you know, all the other options available there. What you can do is simply go uh, into the search and in the search you can type startup. If you type startup you'll have change advanced startup options and here you'll have advanced startup you can click the restart now button. This will restart your computer and actually give you a special boot menu available only when you um, either do this option or when computer crashes or if with some windows or some keys on your computer for example. So here you have options that are okay continue to Windows 10 because that's not what you wanted. Here you have the option of user device. So if you want to boot from a DVD or USB thumb drive, this is what you'll choose. Use another operating system. So for example, a lot of people have been telling me that their Linux boot sector doesn't work when they install Windows 10. And the problem with that is because Linux needs to be uh, installed after Windows 10, not before. So when people upgraded, the um, boot menu changed and the boot sector changed that's why so you can try use another operating system and see if you can boot into for example your Linux operating system you've got troubleshoot troubleshoot will give you all sorts of options and tools that can be useful to troubleshoot a computer that doesn't boot up for example including a system restore you have a system restore available here and this system restore is different because if it didn't work in Windows 10, it will probably work here because it's kind of out of the Windows environment. It's still there, but I mean it just behaves differently. And finally, you got to turn off your PC if that's what you wanted to do or if for some reason you came here and that's not what you wanted at all. And there's another way to actually go to that menu also. And I'm going to show you as my computer boots up. So in Windows 10, the advanced boot menu has many options. And maybe you want to actually go back to your boot options using a different uh, path, by the way, because I was searching for it. But you can also go directly. So let's go to Windows 10. Let's go into the options. I'm just going to wait for it to boot up. It's a little longer because I have uh, used different options, so it takes longer to boot. For some reason, I don't know why, it takes longer to boot when you do that than when you just boot from it. And here it goes. And when you're in Windows 10, there's another way to actually get to the advanced startup menu, and that option is simply to go into the notifications area on the bottom right. So we'll wait for my Windows machine to boot up. Here we go. So on the bottom right you'll have notifications here. You click there. Once you get the menu of the notifications you'll go into all settings right here. You'll go into the update and security and you'll go into recovery on the left side and here you have advanced startup options available and you can click the restart now button. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know about Windows, why not ask? Maybe I can do a video, you'll be helping others at the same time. And if you enjoy my videos, you can subscribe 
lots of videos many videos a day are posted and uh, we try to help everybody with Windows and give us thumbs up you know what it helps us on the ratings on YouTube and hopefully you enjoy our videos and we'll come back to our channel thank you for watching